Uh, hi, hello. In this data engineering, uh, uh, I mean AWS course, we are in module 8, storing and organizing data. So I wish to demonstrate about this module 8 KC. So in this KC, yes, I'm going to start this KC. Yeah, I also keep this in full screen. So yes, you can see this first question. Due to company merger, okay, company ma merger, a data engineer needs to increase their object storage capacity. They are not sure how much storage they need, they will end at their, uh, they'll, they'll need. Uh, they want a highly scalable uh, service that can be, uh, that can store unstructured, semi-structured and structured data. Which service would be the most, most cost effective? This is, I think, the object class storage that is S3, no doubt in this. Yes, that is correct. The second one, a data engineer is considering a new database for their organization. Which factors should they consider? Select three. So one is the data shape. Uh, the other is, I think, uh, I mean performance. And uh, you need to also have application workload. Yes, absolutely. These three should be the right. Yeah, that's correct. Third one. A startup company is building an order inventory, okay, a system for a web front, front end and is looking for a real time transactional database, which service would meet their need? It should look like a document DB with the MongoDB compatibility, yeah, I submit this. I think it looks like a DynamoDB, DynamoDB, this is the third one, not a document DB, it is DynamoDB. Uh, this is a transactional database. Yeah, correct, dynamic. The fourth one, a data engineer has been tasked to design a low cost infrastructure to query data directly from the central repository for both structured and unstructured data. Which option will meet their need? This is fourth one. Uh, so this is a, a kind of a data lake. Yeah. An organization is concerned about the increase uh, uh, in a fraud. Which service could help with uh, building fraud graphs? That is uh, Neptune. Yeah, Neptune. Yeah. The sixth one. A data engineer must uh, host a new Microsoft SQL database in AWS for a project. Which service could the data engineer use to accomplish this task? This is uh, Microsoft SQL. Uh, you can use this Aurora. Okay, Aurora is a RDS basically. I can submit that. Compatible with seven. So, which descriptions or the characteristics of a data warehouse uh, is designed prior to the implementation? Okay, schema on right. I take that and stores, uh, uh, I mean relational database, okay, for transactional systems, operational uh, database and line of business applications, I take this and also offers faster query results. This is a higher cost storage than a data lake. Uh, this one offers faster uh, query results, but uses higher cost storage. Yeah, let me submit. Okay, this is correct. Seventh one, eighth one. A data engineer would like to create a data warehouse in uh, AWS for their business intelligence needs. Which service could be used to accomplish this task? This is Redshift. Okay, ninth one. Uh, a data engineer needs to needs a database that is designed for scale, uh, with data being split across multiple storage <coughs> nodes. They want to ensure that their data, as their data grows, additionally storage nodes can be added. Which type of database could the data engineer implement? So you can say key value. Yes, that is correct. The last question, a data engineer wants to quickly set up 
uh, a secure data lake. So, they want to import uh, import data from MySQL, PostgreSQL and MSSQL and Oracle database that are running in Amazon RDS, which service uh, could be the data engineer used to accomplish this task. So, this is uh, what I can say is is uh, yeah lake formation I can take this correct it is a managed service. So, this completes module 8 we will again get into the next module thank you and bye.